in the Breeders' Cup Classic. And it is Black Tie Affair who comes out running for the lead. Star of Gdansk is there. Chief Poncho was pitched back in between horses. And Summer Squall, with that good tactical speed, maintains a forward position at the inside. And they pass beneath the twin spires for the first time as Black Tie Affair will lead the classic field under the wire. Summer Squall under a firm hold there by Pat Day. Star of Gdansk is up close to the pace. And then it's Fly So Free racing three wide. Twilight Agenda four wide into the turn. Long Shot Kudos has settled in six toward the inside. Chipancho is moving along smoothly in seventh. And then it's Marquetry racing eighth position. He's about nine lengths from the front. And then farther back, the late running power of Strike the Gold, Unbridled and Festine. They're all about 12 lengths from the front now. And Black Tie Affair is just cruising on an easy lead. A dawdling pace in the classic, 24 and 1 for the quarter, 48 and 2 fifth seconds for the half, and it is Black Tie Affair bounding along. Star of Gdansk is trying to run to him, but Black Tie Affair lets it out another notch. While at Adinja, third on the outside. Summer Squall is now back racing in fourth. He's down inside, and then it's Fly So Free. Chipancho's gearing up on the far outside, followed by Marquetry. Kudas has dropped out of it, and huge margins to be made up here by unbridled Strike the Golden Festine. They are far behind. They're at least 15 lengths from the front. And now, here comes Twilight Agenda to challenge Black Tie Affair as they approach the top of the stretch here at Churchill Downs. Fly So Free is poised in third position. Chief Honcho rallies on the outside. Marquetry is also right there. Summer Squall is still six lengths from the lead now. Unbridled is coming with his rally, but he's seven lengths from the front with a furlong to go. And Black Tie Affair grimly trying to hold on to the lead on the outside. Twilight Agenda. It'll be those two. Black Tie Affair on the inside. Twilight Agenda. Black Tie Affair and a front-running masterpiece of race riding here by Jerry Bailey does it. What did it feel like out there? It was pretty simple, to be honest with you. The tapes I watched of him, uh, he ran on the lead very relaxed. That's the way I did it. Nobody seemed to press him too much, which was to, to my benefit, and he had a lot left when I turned for home. Did you see Twilight Agenda, or did you hear him coming? Well, I didn't know who it was breathing on me turning for home. I realized it was him at the eighth pole, but it, it really didn't matter who it was. It was time to go, and we straightened out. Was it in the game plan? Here, oh, here's the finish. Let's take a look at it. What's going through your mind right here? Well, you know, the only thing, he switched right to his right lead, which he has a tendency not to do. But then he switched back to his left, you know, approaching the wire, and I was undecided whether to hit him left-handed or to stay with the right. But he was running well, so I stayed where I was. Great win, Jerry. Congratulations. Thanks,